Dor. He is trained in data science for precision medicine from Edinburgh University. He has also completed a spoke, scope certification for obesity. He has also completed his advanced postgraduate course in diabetes by American Diabetic Association. I uh, will take 10 minutes to read out his entire bio data. Postgraduate training in endocrinology, diabetes and metabolism. He is also enrolled for IIT Rukri in artificial in intelligence management. That I didn't know. That's great. Congratulations. Life member of ESE, RSSDI. Uh, he you was advice. been. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We'll cut, we'll cut down my time on so, very, very his talk is as expected role of AI in transforming nutritional care and diabetes. So, over to you. Thank you, Alok Bhai, and all the chairperson. First of all, thank the whole team of DiaCare for inviting me here and giving a topic which is very close to my heart because I work in and around for artificial intelligence in healthcare. So, today, in the next 15 minutes or so, I will be talking about how nutritional care is evolving with the help of artificial intelligence for obesity and diabetes. So this I will try to cover because it is a very small time which I have been permitted. The current challenges, what are there in the nutritional care, the role of AI, what is there in nutrition for obesity and diabetes, what are the real world application and case studies, some, some may I, I may be able to show you, what are the future trends and ethical considerations. So this would be the take home for you. Now what are the challenges? Challenges are manifold but the main three challenges are we need personalized care but it is difficult. It is difficult due to variability in diet, metabolism and lifestyle because every individual differs. Traditional nutritional approach are often reactive and not preventive. We are not preventing, we are reacting to a disease which has occurred. And there is a lack of real time data collection. We don't collect the data. Even if we collect it, we are not able to calculate and give the feedback. So this was the traditional approach. When we provide the same dietary advice, there is a printed diet chart in every clinic which we give to all our patients whosoever is coming to our clinic. And now when we move to personalized nutrition, the, the dietary advice is provided specific to the nutritional need and even the disease needs of the patient. Now to construct a personalized diet, these many parameters are required. These are the all things which are required to create a personalized diet chart. To a human, it is not possible or either he will see one patient a day. That is possible for him. Now, glycemic index, which we talk about, we often give a handout of that also to our patient, is the actually thing of past. In the era of personalized medicine, glycemic index holds very little value because different subjects have different glycemic responses to the same thing. I look by may eat a banana and I meet a, may eat a banana at the same time, but as Lutika ma'am was telling us, on CGM our responses may differ and they can differ widely and that is why this whole dogma of personalized diet has come in. Now what is food to one may be poison to other, that is why AI comes into play to plan a personalized diet. Predictions are very accurate, superior to common human practice and short term personalized dietary intervention successfully lower the post meal glucose this has been shown by numerous studies and actually it gives a data driven insight which is absolutely not possible for any human to do because there is so much of data and people are not able to calculate and compute on these data sets. That is the reason why everyone is going frenzy about it and this is the global fitness app market you see the volume how it is going exercise weight diet nutrition activity tracking and lifestyle management these are the four parameters on which every person who is entrepreneur is looking now diet and nutrition app if we talk about by 2025 40, 50 percent of diet and nutrition app will have a incorporated artificial intelligence into them otherwise they cannot survive because they cannot be able to give the predictions as per their competitors Moving forward, if you see the global fitness app market, this is a very recent trend. There is a CAGR of 18%. The point again to be noted is 200 million downloads. 45% of users reported successful weight loss while using an app which is directed towards the same. So this is a huge number. Again, the global growth of diet and nutrition app adoption, you see the number of users in million, 280 million users in 2022. Now the global AI in personalized nutrition market research reports, this is the data which has come. The key players are Neutrino, Viome, Nutrigenomics and all these, they are actually using machine learning and supervised learning. But gradually you see by 2031, the machine learning will take much bigger pie, cake of the pie uh, than supervised learning. So gradually machine learning will take over. Now, distribution of diet and nutrition app revenue, if you see, because this is again very important, our industry dies without revenue. 
the 50% apps are working on premium model while 50% are surviving with, surviving with subscription based model. So this is the craze in people for paying for diet and weight loss. Weight loss in a digital app based diabetes prevention program. This was a uh, data which was published by Sarah Graham and she showed that this was the interface and when it was filled in right by the person, this is how it coaches and it coaches for weight loss, for better metabolic health and all those things. And this is how the chat looks like and it is all happening automatically. This is Lark app, which is very common. Now again, moving forward, when we see, if we click a picture with the help of AI, we can see that this food is good or not based on your disease condition. It can give you what it contains, how much calories are there, what is the protein, fat, carb breakdown of the food. This gave to the smart personalized nutrition app because all these apps, what they do, they take the user data, they have a generator, the generative AI component into it, and then the solution is provided. Full weekly personalized menu is provided for the patient based on his and her diet. This is Neutrino app. This is the interface, how it looks like. This is how the chat works. And it clearly shows that it is very friendly in its language also. It says that taking a peek at your weight averages, you have lost 12 pounds in you since you started. And it again says nice also at the end. So this is wonderful. Now again, this is how this whole algorithm works. The food analysis system and individual inputs, they give rise to the output, which is not possible for a normal human being. Snapping, as I have told you, gives you the value, but so does the barcode. You scan the barcode and you get the food nutritive value. So it is not required to snap the food because sometimes the food is packed. You can take the snapshot of barcode and this will give it to you. This was our work which we did. I'm not including CGM into this because CGM has a vast array to play into dietary interventions. But this was a work which we orally presented at EYES where we did a very simple thing. I live in Indore and we have a huge habit of intermeal snacking and we put our patients on CGM as Dr. Lothika was telling. And we saw that 72% patient on AGP stopped the intermeal snacking. So this was something revelation to us because this was Suimoto. People were doing it by themselves. We were not prompting them, but just by looking at the graph of AGP, they were modifying their diets. Now, one more thing where the diet, nutrition, and training comes into play with the help of AI, a comprehensive patient education and behavioral intervention. This is a one-drop AI system. It does a 1.9% estimated A1C reduction, 20 grams fever carbohydrate taken by a person every day automatically, and 35 minutes of additional physical activity just by feeding the data into the app and getting feedback from it. This is something which I have developed, Mitra. This is a chat GPT based model, which again works to prepare a diet chart, prepare a personalized exercise plan and everything just by using the chat GPT. And this is how the output looks because I put a patient with CKD, so it is first giving me the key guidelines and then it will prepare the whole diet chart. So this makes personalized diet to go into every clinic. This is actually, these are all the advantages and it works with ChatGPT free version also. So you need not download anything else apart from the ChatGPT. This is our own Indian study. We all know about this. This is artificial intelligence offering significant rate of remission for type 2 diabetes compared to standard care. And this is actually the twin study. And this has shown that when we do this, we are able to reduce the HbA1c. We are able to get more number of patients into the timing range just by making a digital twin of the patient and making him follow what we want. This is PCOT. This is a machine learning and IoT based smart health platform for overweight and obesity control. Now it, it looks complicated, but if you see clearly, there are certain things which are giving input, which are a variable, uh, wearable device, a smart scale, and all these inputs are given by these elderly people with obesity. They give this input indirectly, not directly, via these devices. This input is sent to the smartphone. Now what this smartphone does, the smartphone sends the data first to the smart scale provider. Then it gives to the variable device provider. So both these entities coming into play. What these two things give the data to? They give to a presentation layer where web application, mobile application are there. There is monitoring network layer. There is data management layer and data analysis layer. This is all software part. What it does, it gives recommendation. 
what it takes it takes biomedical variables also so whatever your values are lab values are parameters are it takes into it this all is sent to the central server of both the smart scale provider and the variable device provider and it gives recommendation and then it gives uh, gives iot based medical services at the same time this smartphone sends this data to doctor also to family also so in a way a loop is created which has actually resulted in a dramatic reduction in obesity a, a weight loss which occurs because then all the things come comes into play and they are all involved into this treatment of obesity with people without knowing them they are not knowing that their data is being transferred here and there although they they were during this study made aware of this but they are not doing it on their own so it is automatically taken this is again one more study the endorse feasibility study which is exploring the use of mobile health artificial intelligence in serious games for management of childhood obesity where these gamification has resulted in reduction in childhood obesity incidences just by making gamification and changing their food choices based on the ai based games and this is how we can prevent childhood obesity this is predicting obesity because to treat obesity is something and to predict obesity is even better so this is predicting obesity in adult using machine learning techniques and analysis of indonesian basic health this is this is a wonderful read you go and read this they have made a model where they can predict the chances of obesity especially in adults by just putting in the parameters from variable and biomedical parameters this is application of artificial intelligence to obesity research scoping review of methodologies which clearly tells us there is a lot of work which is going on into obesity with the help of artificial intelligence if you really get time go and read this paper this is a wonderful read what is the impact of all these interventions it is response by users and this is actually monitoring progress is maximum 78% then second comes the behavioral change which is 76% 10% achieve the weight management 82% sustain their habits 30% increase their water intake and 63% have their diverse food choices which are intact with the help of personalized nutrition now they on an average this is just a statistic to show you how powerful the apps are these days 6 to 10 minutes per session on diet and nutrition app is spent by every person who is there 50% of user engage at least 3 times a week retention rates are 30% not bad 70% abandon the app within 2 weeks if it is too complex so the idea is to make the app simple notification are very important we are often bothered by it but it increases the engagement by 70% and gamification boost engagement by 40% so we should incorporate these into our day to day clinical practice also if we want to engage our patients and users who set specific goals in the app are 30% more likely to achieve those goals and personalized recommendation lead to 15% increase in user interaction so these are all actually the thing which app is doing we think it is not doing much but it is causing behavior change as i have told you in 76% and 82% have the sustainable habits with the help of all these things this is the user satisfaction score and they are really satisfied 70% gave high ratings 80% gave positive reviews and 10% only complained about the accuracy so this shows that mobile or ai based apps are the future for personalized nutrition what lies in the future the potential of ai in nutrition care is vast and it will definitely evolve over time it will involve ad advanced predictive modeling it will facilitate global health initiative and it will provide equitable access because the cost will become minimal to personalized nutrition care there are ethical consideration also like anything it also has with innovation we also know that comes responsibility so ethical consideration in ai is a must and it should be prioritized data privacy and security always been a concern just like our emrs transparency should be there and it will boost the uses and addressing biases should be the key because data which is not entered right will not give the right output to conclude ai is actually revolutionizing the nutrition care offering innovative solutions for obesity and diabetes management the transformative effect of ai pave the way for healthier future and as we embrace ai the potential for improved health outcomes becomes limitless literally together we can harness ai for a brighter healthier tomorrow with this with this final quote i end my talk
AI is a tool, the choice about how it gets deployed is ours. And this is our small community of doctors who are working passionately for AI across all domains of healthcare. You scan this QR code and join if you have passion for artificial intelligence in any stream of healthcare. With this, I thank you all for the patient listening. Thank you.